what is going on guys taylor nicole here tuning in with another video with you guys and today let's talk about emotions so one of the biggest battles that we go through as women is really regulating our emotions and it is so stinking hard <laughs> to regulate our emotions and i'm speaking from experience now i've been in a space for a while now where i've been able to properly regulate my emotions but i still it's still a battle i'm not perfect at it right and there are a lot of women who are struggling in this area of emotional regulation of emotional intelligence and learning how to properly regulate their emotions and gain that emotional control and i'm telling you as a woman when you get to that place where you are able to control that part of your life. Oh my goodness. Listen, the quality of your life is going to just shoot up. I mean, it's such a powerful place to be as a woman. You know, I remember when I was in my early 20s, okay, and I'm in my late 20s now, but when I was in my early 20s, I was a hot mess. I was an emotional wreck. And it was really because of, honestly, it was some past trauma I hadn't addressed. And it was also because I didn't know how to, I didn't know anything about re uh, regulating emotions, emotional intelligence, uh, problem solving. And so it created a lot of unnecessary issues in my life. And, you know, I see so many women who are stuck in that place of, you know you're kind of making these emotional decisions where you're constantly sabotaging yourself you're constantly finding yourself in these situations that you don't want to be in but it's like you can't help yourself almost and so today i really want to address part of the issue on that and you know oftentimes when we talk about emotional regulation and emotional intelligence we always are really addressing those emotions that are deemed negative, right? Where you, the anger, the bitterness and things like that. But, you know, um, those feel good emotions, those positive emotions are really misleading a lot of women. And I'm gonna get into what I'm talking about in just a sec, so just stay tuned <laughs> before i get deep into this video though if this is content that you like if this is content that you love make sure that you like the video and also make sure that you are subscribed to the channel okay so that you don't miss any of my future content also excuse my background guys i just moved again okay <laughs> and so uh yeah i got a lot of decorating and stuff to do it looks a little a little rough but bear with me okay so what do i mean by that what do i mean by positive emotions and feel good emotions deceiving us as women and so here's what i really want you to get in your head i really want you to change your perception on emotions okay and so what i really want you to understand is that there's no real way to determine whether or not an emotion is good or bad until you understand the reason behind it, until you understand the why behind it. When you understand the why behind it, okay, then you can determine whether this emotion is good or bad. And also, here's another factor that goes into that too. Also, it's what you do with that emotion. How that emotion drives you can also determine whether that emotion is good or bad. And so, those are two things that you need to understand about emotions. Those are two things that you want to really examine when it comes to regulating and mastering your emotions. So as women, oftentimes we can be very emotionally driven. This isn't a secret. Um, I think that this is something that a lot of us have experienced as women, having that, you know, that, that emotional drive. And there's nothing wrong with having emotions, right? Let's get that, you know, because when I speak about emotional intelligence, a lot of women think, oh yeah, just be stoic and act like you don't have emotions and blah, 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 blah. Like that is not what that means. Uh, emotions are a huge part of our lives. 
and to try to act like you don't have emotions and to try to act like your emotions don't matter or whatever, you don't feel anything. It's just stupid, it's just immature and it's not healthy. And so understand that when I talk about emotional mastery, I'm not talking about trying to suppress or act like you don't have emotions, no. But actually examining your emotions, making wise decisions based off what your emotions are telling you, okay? And so as women, we are very emotionally driven. And a lot of times we make emotional decisions. And so a lot of times as women, we love to make destructive decisions based off of things that make us feel good, right? Those positive emotions. And so this is very relevant when it comes to relationships. If you are a woman who, you know, you constantly have been getting into toxic relationships, you constantly have been tying yourself with the wrong people, with the wrong friends, with, you know, doing the wrong stuff. And, you know, it feels good in the moment. Then later on, you're like, man, I actually shouldn't have did that. And, and, and this is what I mean by being misled by positive emotions and why you must examine those feel good emotions, right? And so I'm going to use my own experience as an example because this is something I struggled with and um, I ended up in a, uh, a, a toxic marriage for five years because of it right and so you know when I moved from home okay so for y'all that don't know I, I was in the I was in the military and so when I moved from home and I went off to the military and uh, I was away from home for the first time new experience new people and uh but but the thing the thing about that was i got very lonely very quick and the thing about being lonely when you have low self-esteem and when you don't know who you are it's very dangerous to be in that spot because you literally go into this dangerous place of desperation and so that's where i was at i had got desperate and you know long behold as soon as i got desperate here comes my ex-husband walking in on the scene and you know it just felt at that time because I was so lonely and so desperate <laughs> it just felt so good to have somebody there it felt so good to just be with somebody and to feel like I belong to something and to have somebody in my life and you know uh, to feel validated and you know to have somebody who I thought was my best friend and my lover and all these other things and so that was dangerous right because I thought in my little brain <laughs> at the time I thought that because this thing felt good that that was my cue to marry the guy <laughs> to give him my body, to marry him, to form a covenant with him. I mean, my goodness, what was I thinking? But, um, you know, later on, because I was led by those positive emotions or those feel good feelings, you know, um, and I didn't discern what I was feeling and why I was feeling it, I ended up leading, it ended up leading me to destruction later on right where now i don't went through a divorce and i've lost a whole lot and i'm still in the process of rebuilding all of those things right and so this is the mistake i don't want any other woman to make and this is why i do what i do and i teach what i teach because there's no need for all of us to make that mistake and so you know it's very it's very important as a woman that you take the time that even when the situation feels good even when a situation feels right that you still discern your emotions discern what you're feeling because if i could go back five years six years seven years i think maybe was it seven years it's been a, i think i met him when i was what 20 22 years old so about about that time um but if I can go back to my the the, the my the twenty two year old me, right, and I could just just tell her to to discern those emotions because it feels good doesn't mean it's right, 
just because it feels right doesn't mean it's right and so what i mean by that is if i was you know to do that right and and if i was to go back in time and i was to discern those feel good emotions um you know what i i think i would have found that the only reason why that felt so good to me because i was so broken okay the only reason why having a man who really you know it wasn't like he was just he really swept me off my feet you know it really just did uh i was just so impressed or he went out of his way to really impress me no he did the normal stuff that guys do but because my self-esteem was in the gutter because i was so desperate because I was so broken and I had so much trauma and unhealed wounds within myself that I needed to address that I was really just running away from. Honestly, if we're, if we're gonna be honest about it, we subconsciously run away from those things and we don't even know it. And we and we, we find these distractions in our lives to, to hold on to um, like a crutch so that we don't have to address the real issue. And I had some real issues that I needed to address but instead of me addressing those issues, you know, I decided to to do the thing that felt good to me uh, by being with him. And, you know, if I was honest with myself and if I knew how to discern those positive emotions, I would have found that this only feels good, Taylor, because you're broken. This only feels good because the reality is you're, you're trying to run away from those wounds and run away from those pains and so you're you're trying to really latch on to anything that makes you feel good and distracts you from the real issue and so this is what i mean when i when i talk about you know uh being misled by those positive emotions and i know that i'm amongst many probably millions and billions of women who have made the same mistake uh, you know, not too long ago, they had the Tinder swindler <laughs> on Netflix. And I mentioned it, you know, I talked about a little bit, the, some of the mistakes that these women were making just to kind of, uh, you know, I, I just feel like it was something that other women could benefit from. And, um, you know, one of the things that I, that I saw in that was a lot of these women who got scammed and were getting, you know, played the way that they did. Uh, it's because of their feelings because oh if he felt good and it felt good he made me feel good and he did this and I was just so in love and da 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 it was all based on these feel good feelings and so what you have to understand about emotions especially when it comes to dealing with somebody that's toxic and dealing with somebody that is possibly a narcissist is they know how to make you feel good they know exactly what to do and this is why the, the uh, love bombing is a thing because what happens when that when you get love bomb is those chemicals okay that 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 them feel good chemicals in your brain that causes you to feel good they all start coming out and you get addicted right to those feel good emotions you get addicted to that feeling and so this is as women it is very important you know that just because you you gotta discern you gotta you gotta allow yourself to feel stuff without acting on it and i think that is the the biggest 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 lesson a lot of women are going to learn in life allow yourself to feel without acting on it you know i i can't tell you how many women are would would <laughs> How many women would save themselves from from brokenness, would save themselves from toxic relationship, would save themselves from getting scammed, would save themselves from being manipulated if they just wouldn't act on what they were feeling? And I know so many women, man, you know, have have gotten into, you know, I touched on situationships not too long ago in a video. You know, they get into these situationships and they, oh, well, he made me feel good, the vibe is right. It feels right, so I'm gonna get him some vagina. You know, I'm gonna create a soul tie with him. You know, that's silly, that's silly, that's silly, that's stupid, don't do that. You know, I've met guys where the vibe was right and I said, you know, he, he he's a little Rico suave, you know, the, the brother got it going on, but I'm not about to get, have sex with him. I'm just gonna allow myself to feel, allow myself to enjoy that moment 
but I'm still going to discern. I'm still going to test the spirit because just because you've got the vibe, sir, you're saying the right things, you look good, you sound good, it doesn't mean that you're the one for me. It doesn't mean that I should do anything drastic or that I owe you anything or that this is this that you're the one for me. Cause listen, demons can make you feel good. Bad people can make you feel good, okay? That's what they do to get you hooked in. And so you gotta learn how to feel without acting. And that that is going to be key when it comes to discerning those positive emotions. And you also gotta question yourself when something is feeling too good, because I know a lot of women, they love getting butterflies in their stomach. When something is feeling too good, you also have to discern why. Because sometimes something may feel really good because it's coming from a place of desperation, right? They're 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 um they're putting a band aid, right? Or they're soothing a wound that you're not addressing, which was the, was the case with me. And so it's very important to understand that when when you are, especially if you're dating, you're in a relationship, or you know whatever and you're oh i got butterflies and he just makes me so nervous and he just makes me it's just so good to be around him nothing wrong with that right because who knows that could be the love of your life i'm not saying that that's not the case but i am saying don't make any drastic decisions based off that feeling test the spirit discern test yourself make sure that that plate where is that feeling really coming from is it rooted to some insecurities? Is it rooted to some low self-esteem? Is it rooted to some pain, some wounds that you have not addressed as a woman? Is it rooted in brokenness, okay? And so I think that if you can do that, okay, if you can learn how to do that, you are way ahead of the game when it comes to uh, emotional mastery. And so guys, I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you will love this video. Like I said, if this is the content that you like, if this is the content that you love, if this is the content that you need, make sure that you like the video, guys. I wanna get this message to as many, many, many women as possible, guys. I want women to heal. I want women to level up. Uh, I wanna see women do great things out there, guys. And so make sure that you like, make sure that you share with somebody that may benefit from it, okay? Once again, guys, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you in my next video.